Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Mobile Masters Evolution. Um, <clears throat> oh my goodness, I feel like I'm still sick, but... Oh. I feel like I should be fine. Um, so I did everything that I usually do already for just daily stuff for... Um, you know, union, um, doing quest stuff, uh, using all my skill points on Pokemon. So I just wanted to show you guys, well, battle, but also things that you should be doing on top of everything that I've shown you in most of my videos. Um, just the daily stuff, obviously. Um, and then stuff to do on the side. So first, though, I'm going to talk about Breaking through Pokemon. So, I want to break him, break through him, but I guess I'll do a different Pokemon. Um, yeah, we'll do Onyx. Oh, I can't get any more. That's very sad. Okay, well. Can we blitz for you or sweet? So ten times here. Another ten times. We only have to blitz once for that. That's good. Can we blitz? Whoops. Whoopsies. Ten times. All right. So now we switch to one. Um, so blitzing is very good for your Pokemon. Instead of doing um, just story like normal. Um, this is a very good way just to like upgrade your Pokemon in general. Um, so you can get them their rarity up, which increases their CP, is, increases their overall stats. So just another way to upgrade your Pokemon, basically. Okay, so we got Heracross in there. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much all that breaking through does. Do I have enough? Okay, yeah, so I'll have to wait. What I'm trying to do now is replace my Lapras with Swampert. Because Water Ground is much better typing than Water Ice. Um, and he's also a defender rather than just a big, big tank. Um, that's all that Lapras does self heals um but with swamperts like i've explained before he basically comes harder to kill as the battle goes on um he dispels his own debuffs and he in increases his own damage reduction so it's just very good um and when you include that with chrysalia i don't know if it goes away but it doesn't say that it goes away with heals so I can let Swampert get down pretty low and then just heal him. And he's basically really, really hard to kill. Um, Lapras is a little bit easier to kill. He does get, or she does get um, a shield and does self-heal. But if you're good typing against the water, then it just kind of destroys... Um, also, ground is a better typing than ice. Just it, it's stronger against more types than ice. Um, I do want to check something though. Ice isn't strong against flying, is it? Oh, it is. See, that's very interesting. But the thing about the ice skill. It just heals. It doesn't do any damage. So, literally a useless ice move. I mean, healing is not useless, but on my team it kind of is. So, Swampert is what I'm going to go with. Plus, it's easier to get the shards for Swampert. Um, so, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Can we break through you or no? Okay, yeah, we'll just... I won't mind that for now. Um, there's also three days left for the open server carnival. So 
You should collect those as soon as possible. <clears throat> My goodness. Thought I was done being sick, but um, just the lingering after effects. Um, collect here. Season 10 pass. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll just go to Swampert and effort value him. Very close to being to the same CP level as Lapras, which is good because I don't want to switch out my Pokemon if it's weaker. So I'm just going to wait for that. Um, eventually, though, maybe I will have to switch out Cresselia for Gardevoir. Just because it has the extra fairy typing, plus it can mega. So I'll have basically three Pokemon that can mega on my team. And that's very good. Um, Megas are kind of overpowered. Just in this game, in general. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do some battles now. Because our Pokemon are strong enough to actually do some damage. So we're just going to go straight into it. This is um some psychic fire Pokemon, but I think we should be fine. Yeah, instead of Heracross getting burned there, Lapras could have used the basic move. So I could have killed that Pokemon. But you know, the AI still sucks. No matter how many times they update this game, I think it's still going to suck. It's a kill. Okay, good. And that should kill those two. Sweet. Okay. It uses its ultimate when the Pokemon aren't even damaged. That's like my biggest like pet peeve about this AI. It is completely useless. I'm pretty sure I could have had less trouble if I didn't use the AI. But it's so much faster because I don't have to click through all the moves. And I am skipping most of the um, animations. Just the beginning animations are there, but it's fine. Yeah, we're destroying this level. The only good thing about Lapras is his ultimate, um, which pushes away the enemy, which is very good. But other than that, it's okay. And War Turtle, he's um water fighting. No, he's just water type, right? Honestly, this game is making me realize how I did not know how how well I knew typings, which is not very good at all. Um, I just know the basic typings from the card game, but not from the actual Pokemon games. Okay, so normal psychic. I think we should be fine. Um, normal is kind of just neutral for us, but it should be good enough. Yeah, see, it, it, Cresselia does not need to use healing when there's no need for healing. I just don't understand. I should kill all of them. All right, sweet. And that should kill. Again, with the healing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what devs have against DAI being effective on our team because the dev on the other sorry the ai on the other team the enemy team is always good it targets the weakest pokemon and it knows when to use its ultimates instead of just using them automatically so yeah i don't know what they have against players using ai i guess they want them to actually play the game but it's basically just an idle RPG game, so <laughs> not role-playing. 
it's just an idle, I guess, turn-based game. Now we just to kill this Dodo Do or I forgot the name of this Pokemon that I'm facing. I can't remember every single name. I still know it from the um anime anime cartoon. Honestly, when I was watching it, I thought it was a cartoon, not as an anime. I'm pretty sure Pokemon was the first like anime type cartoon I watched. I still remember when Ash got his Pikachu. Like, that was such an awesome scene. Okay, if Dragon Flying might be a little hard. Water Psychic is okay. Dark Fire is going to be a problem. Let's just go into it and see how it goes. There's this little buffer going on. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just honestly, I'm just gonna turn off auto. Like, what's the point? And I knew Gengar was gonna use his ultimate there. Like, why wouldn't it? I'll use his ultimate now though, because this might kill all of them. Oh, most of them. Okay, so we'll just do this. Okay, so f effective against this star poke. I completely forgot the name Star You. Pretty sure that's not it. Um. Yeah, you know what? We'll just kill this Pokemon. I guess we have to go here. And we'll just attack here. Use Steelix's ultimate. Don't kill. Okay, yeah, that sucks. Is that bleed or that's burn? Just gonna use horn attack. I'll use it for you, but I guess heal everybody at the same time. Oh no, my Steelix is kind of low. Okay, well, since the other ones are kind of resistant to fire. How is that extremely effective? That is so stupid. Oh, now they're going after that Pokemon. Okay, that's fine. Just kill the Houndoom. Flying Horn on this other Houndoom. They have Mega Houndoom in this game. And they don't have Mega um, Gyarados, which is kind of annoying. Oh, Moonlight. Um, I guess I'll heal my Steelix. Use Flamethrower on you. And just use Surf. Does that push you out? Nope. Okay, well that sucks. Okay, now we can just do auto. Doesn't matter because it's a single Pokemon. So any move it uses will be pretty much effective. We still have all of our Pokemon. Not just one more attack. That should kill it, right? Okay, perfect. There we go. Awesome. Oh, there's a nightmare mode. I didn't even realize that. Was that part of a new update? Because it wasn't there before. Maybe you have to get to um, level 10. Okay. Back on track to getting gems. That's nice. Normal psychic fire. Okay, this should be fine. Water psychic is fine. Okay, here we go. Was that Sandshrew? And uh, Bulbasaur. I think Bulbasaur. I know some of the names. It's just hard to remember others. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna take off the auto here. Don't need the Moon Knight, so I'll just attack you. Yeah, we'll go for the middle because you attack two Pokemon. That is not effective whatsoever. Do some damage there. How is water effective against bug types? Well, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because you can drown bugs, but... Or bugs get drowned in water. Um, kill you. Uh, yeah, we'll go Brick Break here. Do I need to use Lunar Dance? You know what, I'll use it now. So that my Pokemon are at least full health. Flame Swirl on you. And then Surf, yeah. That should do some damage. Yeah, we'll go straight, straight Drill for you. I guess it only works on the front row. Shield, so that's effective. Okay. I could do Lick on this dude because it's extremely effective. Horn attack is also effective. I love how it says effective and it does like nothing. Let's hope that kills. Okay, I was about to say that doesn't kill. <laughs> I don't need to heal, so I'll just use your tackle. That's what I'm saying. It always heals when it doesn't need to. Nobody's dead. Perfect. And you get killed by the crackback. Oh, that's so nice. I love Steelix's slash Onyx's um, kind of counterattack. Like, you hit me, I hit you back, basically. Ooh, ice, ground, water. That should be completely fine to deal with. Okay. Um, we're going to do it from the beginning this time, just to show you how effective... I can really make this. Don't think that's going to do anything, but. Since they're all kind of not taking any real damage. Okay, there's only two left. And the counterattack is going to get them if they attack Steelix. Oh, that's so good. Okay, Lick. Sweet. Um, I'm just going to use Shadow Ghost Force here. This should kill all of them. Yep. And then I should have it up again for this round. That is how you smartly do it. Look at that. Me being smarter than an AI. Crygonal. That is a decent amount of... Okay, that did not look like a lot of damage. But it's actually a decent amount of damage. Flame Swirl. That's very effective against Crygonal. But it... Does nothing. Okay, let's use ultimate again. Oh, that freezes. That is very annoying. Um, yeah, we'll use night on you. I'm pretty sure it's strong against bug types, right? Ice. Oh my goodness. It's just going to freeze everybody, huh? I don't need to use Moon or Loon Dance, so I'll just keep attacking you. Honestly, we might get only two stars because of this stupid freeze. Okay, that's good. Double attack. Okay, this should do a lot of damage yep there we go okay that's dead okay perfect honestly if um i'm able to well i do have a four star um charm million but once i evolve him to um why am i forgetting the name 
Why am I forgetting the name? I know this Pokemon. I can literally picture it in my head. Oh, let me think about it first. Charmander, Charmeleon. Why is why can't I say the name? This is so stupid. Screw you, brain. Charizard. Oh my god, of course I knew that. Fire flying. Um, because fire flying is better than just fire, obviously. Double type. And you can mega evolve that. Just a little side note here. Um into either Mega Charizard X or Mega Charizard Y. So either Fire Dragon or Fire Flying. I'm gonna think Fire Flying because I can get other typings for Dragon. Probably, um, actually, I don't know about that. Maybe Steelix will be replaced with the Dragon type because I do have Ground type and I don't really need Steel type. It's kind of weak against a lot of things. All right. Um. So yeah, just do stages. I don't really have to explain that. I don't think so. Um. Just play them well enough, and you should be fine. I'm going to go to another thing because I do want to mention this. Um. Do your daily dungeons. Yeah, you know what? Let's challenge the hard. Oh, I'm so stupid. It's still with the old lineup. And we still won with 100%. Okay, that's very interesting. Actually, let's do this, but... Switch our Pokemon to where they're actually supposed to be. Put you here, put you there. And then Lapras goes here. And we should also get SS. I believe that's the highest, right? Okay, cool. And then Blitz. Okay, only three times. That's good to know. Oh, I keep pressing the stupid button. I have to look at the, my lineup before I do that. We're still gonna win, but I'm gonna blitz this. Cool. Give dungeon. Um literally just have to do this. So yeah, you should do these daily. I have not been doing them, so that's one hundred percent on me. Um I'm gonna skip these. I mean, you guys know how my Pokemon work already. Challenge the other part. So yeah, um, it took a week of grinding just to like start actually playing on stages again, and then Shard Dungeon. I guess put you here. It doesn't really matter exactly where you are. Or maybe it does. I think it decides turn order. <laughs> oh my god, I just almost dropped my phone <laughs> on my face. Okay. Skip. Do apologize for the little scuffle you heard there. Almost just broke my nose. Probably didn't. Probably not, but I almost smacked my phone into my face. Okay, skip. Don't need to sit around if you don't have to. Okay. Three of my Pokemon are epic rarities, so I just need to do it one more time. Adventure Road. Um, Do I have to do this? Right? I haven't done this at all. I haven't been doing this at all either. Mostly because it just gives you small incremental value for not doing much. So go to next stage. Uh, I would say that this is good for um, effort value, obviously, because it gives you advanced and common coins. And you can just upgrade. Another way of upgrading your Pokemon. There's like a hundred different ways to increase the CP of your Pokemon. Um, yeah, let's go to the next stage. 
slowly going through these. Well, not slow, but trying to go as fast as possible. And how far are the stages? Oh, okay, stage 10 is the last one. Okay, good. And then I'm pretty sure I can sweep. If not, then um, that's going to suck. Okay, what's the boss stage? Oh, um, we have some actually good typings against us. Water dark, bug fighting, and fire fighting. Fighting is just good against us in general. Oh, I did not want to do that. Um, oh, it goes past. Can I not sweep? Oh, that sucks. Sure, I can continue, but I want to show you guys the last thing. Well, you should do dispatch, obviously. I've already mentioned that. Um, elemental challenge, I don't really know. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Eighty K nice fifteen K. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um so do either paradise is what I wanted to say. Um it is good for me because I'm building my hair cross so I can get really easy shards doing this. Um but it also just gives you shards in general and other stuff. Um, I'll just do shield generation. And then difficult enemy. Um, I should be able to skip this right away. If not, then... Okay, yeah, never mind. I just let it do what it wants to do. Spam the skip button. Okay, that's good. Um... Yeah, we'll just keep going because this does give you um, score, which increases the amount of coins you get from this Aether Paradise. Okay, and then skip again. Sure, I'll keep going difficult enemy. I mean, it's not really doing anything until you get to a difficult floor. Because uh, your Pokemon kind of just sweep. Not in the game sense, but in the literal sense. Like, they literally just kill everything. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going. Difficult enemy. This is the... Most amount of difficult enemies I face on the other paradise in a row. Um, doesn't mean that they're necessarily hard. It's usually the end that gets you with the um, toughest or most tough enemy. Critical hit of allied Pokemon. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. 48k. 60k will go with that. You do get buffs slowly if you choose them, so your Pokemon CP slowly increases. I'm just going to skip. Entei is the only one that really took damage there, so that's fine. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Okay, open. You get some either coins as well, or either foundation coins or whatever they're called. Skip next floor. So it's the same thing over and over again. I won't um, bore you guys with the rest of it, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you other things you can do to increase your account and just a little bit of gameplay where I'm at right now. And, you know, updates for what I'm planning to do in the future. But yeah, thank you guys for watching AOG Gaming. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. It really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date with my content. 
Um, 37 subscribers and going strong. You guys are amazing. Keep going. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching.